seems like all the latest catchphrase right now is mindfulness, mindfulness, mindfulness. It's everywhere in parenting and leadership at work. But what the heck is mindfulness and why should you even care about it at all? <laughs> this is Zen in a Moment, and it's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous woman you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to being in the flow. And by flow, I mean feeling light, open, and wise. I am your host, Zen Cryer de Brook, stress as guidance expert. Have you ever looked down on maybe on your leg and found a bruise and you didn't even know how it happened? You're like, how the heck did I get that? Or maybe you sent an email and when you get it back, it's gobbledygook and you can't believe you actually sent it. It doesn't make any sense at all. Well, how about maybe your partner or coworker gives you a piece of information and you don't remember ever having gotten the information and they think you don't listen to them? There's all kinds of ways in which we go unconscious. And mindfulness is when you are paying attention to what your mind is producing. And I want to let you know, this is no small feat. I have taught thousands of individuals how to use what I call the internal guidance system. By the way, if you haven't checked it out at zeninamoment.com, watch the video and feel for yourself that you were born with an internal guidance system that's located between your throat and your solar plex area that you can actually feel. And it's telling you whether or not what you're thinking is true or not true in the moment for you, bringing you closer to your purpose and power. Now, I've taught thousands of individuals to pay attention to their thoughts so that they can feel their IGS and know which thoughts are empowering them and going to have them be successful and which thoughts aren't. And one of the first things that happens for beginning students is they'll be bebopping down the road. They'll feel the closed sensation, stressed out sensation in the center of their body, you know, and that anxiety, worry, and fear tightening up their chest. And they suddenly realize that they cannot remember the thought they were just having. And all day long, people's thoughts are just moving them through their day without them being aware what those thoughts are. Now, here's the thing that's most important for you. Suffering comes from the mind. It comes from stories that we wrap around situations in our life. It comes from the, the, the limitations and the beliefs that we were given as a child. The suffering in our life comes from our stories, especially the ones that are not actually true. Not actually true. So let me give you an example. I was at a party and a friend of mine came into the room and she gave me this glary look. She's about 15 feet away, this glary look, and then turned around and went into the kitchen. And I went into a complete place of shock. I could not figure out what I had done to my friend. I went back through all the situations that we'd had recently, emails, phone calls. I was trying to kind of figure out what I could have done to have her look at me that way. So I was in a conversation at the time with a person and I missed almost everything they said. I kept trying to keep the conversation going, but in the back of my head, what was going on was me kind of analyzing the situation that I was in. And finally, about an hour and a half later, after tormenting myself, I went ahead and went into the kitchen and walked up to her and said hello. And she was like, oh my gosh, Zen, thank God it's you. I did not bring my glasses. I thought they were in my purse. And when we arrived, I can't see anybody. I can't see anything. I'm so I'm trying to remember people by their voices and the, match the color of their thing. And I looked at her and I was like, I thought you were angry at me because you just walked into the other room and glared at me. And I could have been sitting here trying to figure out what was wrong. She couldn't see. She was glaring. No, she was trying to figure out who was sitting on the couch. But my point is this constantly, constantly our minds are generating thoughts. And those thoughts are, are what we focus on. And what we focus on creates our reality. I do believe in the law of attraction, but I believe in it in a different spiritual perspective, which I'm not going to get in today. But what I do believe is that is that what we focus on, we move towards and it move towards it moves towards us. And so if you're not aware of what your mind is producing, if you're not aware of the suffering, the, the, the sensations, your emotions come from your mind, that anything that's upsetting you in your life is coming from a story wrapping around a situation in your life. And the more mindful you become, the more you're able to decide for yourself what you desire to think. Believe it or not, your mind 
can be a chosen asset in your life instead of something that hijacks you and runs away with you. And the number one way that I know how to do that, in fact, I would say it's truly almost the only way that you can consistently and permanently be able to work with your mind and release suffering and stress in your life is by using your internal guidance system. When you have that little alarm bell, that closing sensation in your body go off, that means what you're thinking is out of alignment. It's not true or not going to happen. And it is the beginning of a suffering thought. It is a beginning of unhappiness, unpleasantness. If you continue down the path of closing thoughts, you will generate in your life things that you don't enjoy, things that you don't love, things that aren't going to work for you. And so learning how to pivot in the moment is incredibly important so you can find your opening and create more happiness. But the place to start is by being mindful of what your mind is producing, noticing. So what I recommend for you today is if you would, please go ahead and pay attention to what you're thinking. Just kind of be the observer behind the observer for a little while. Experience for yourself what, it's, what your mind is doing. Just kind of like look at, look at how you're analyzing situations, okay? Look at how you're judging people. Look at the conclusions that your mind is making about the world around you as an observer from the background and with an attitude of, hmm, I wonder if this is true. Is this really true what I'm thinking? Is this really true what my, what my mind is making up, the story? Is this story true? Your IGS will let you know. You'll feel an opening if it's true, and you'll feel a tightening if it's not true. And that's how you begin to create and master your own happiness in your life. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Zen Cryer DeBrook, and you have been listening to the Zen in a Moment podcast. Please share this podcast. There's so much amazing and interesting information that is I'm going to be providing you with to create more joy, more happiness, and a centered, calm feeling inside the center and a centered, calm feeling inside. You can go to zeninamoment.com to sign up for these podcasts and, to, and you can also forward this on to a friend. Also, you can reach me there and find out other ways that we get to work together and things that I have going on. I am so looking forward to being in your life and for you to be in mine. And until you listen again, just remember, I am sending you love and blessings. Blessings.